Hi, welcome to our channel. Today we will be making a birthday cake. Um, it's for my littlest brother's birthday and I'm really excited and my brother is going to be making the cake. I'm going to be helping him. Now we're going to start. Now let's start making the cake. To make the cake, we will be needing 4.5 cup flour, 3 cups sugar, 1.5 cups milk, 1.5 cup oil, I'm using oil instead of butter, and 6 egg, 4.5 teaspoon baking powder, and 2 teaspoon vanilla extract, a beater and a bowl to mix it and blend it together. The time is only 4.30, but the moon is already out. And last night it snowed a lot. And um, me and my fa um, fam whole family went out and played with the snow. First, I'm gonna add six eggs. You should beat the egg until it's fluffy. Now I beat the egg, you can see it's very fluffy and there's a lot of foam on the top. Now I'm going to add the oil. Now I've added the oil, I'm gonna beat it again. Now the egg is very fluffy and I've beaded it with the oil. Now I'm gonna add the sugar. I added granulated sugar, but if you want, you can add powdered sugar. Now I'm going to add the flour. Now I'm going to add the all-purpose flour little by little to the bat batter and beat it. Because if you add all of it at the same time, there will be a lot of clumps in the flour or in the batter, cake batter. <laughs> Now I'm going to add the baking powder into the flour um. and beat it. <laughs> the batter is pretty thick. I'm going to add the vanilla extract and add the milk little by little just so it doesn't get too thick and the blender doesn't start to break out. Okay. Now I'm going to beat the batter. <laughs> The batter is ready. You can even see from the consistency. Now I already set the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit preheat just before we even started making the cake. I'm going to transfer the batter into a baking tray and put it into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes until the cake becomes golden brown. Transfer the batter into this baking tray now I'm gonna put it in the oven it's at 350 degrees Fahrenheit it took us 50 minutes to bake this cake we also made small cupcakes using the batter using the extra batter we had um, for the ingredients you need uh, is 35% whipping cream or any percent whipping cream um, two teaspoons sugar and half a teaspoon vanilla extract. Let's start the icing process. So I'm going to use one liter whipping cream because I'm making a big cake and I'm going to use two tablespoon powdered sugar and a few drops of vanilla extract. I'm going to add two tablespoons of sugar to the whipping cream and then the few drops of vanilla extract and beat it together. You have
have to whip the cream until it's in an icing consistency because otherwise it will just be um, whipping cream um, and sugar mixed together and it wouldn't be as creamy. As you can see, the consistency is really thick. Look. And when I shake it, it doesn't come down unless you shake it really hard. But it's still not in the creamy consistency you want it to be in. So I'm going to beat it more. Now I beat it into a very creamy consistency. You can see because like mm. it won't fall over if I tip My it My brother's going to demonstrate how. If you flip it over and bring it back up, it should stay right there. Let's start icing the cake. I'm decorating the cupcakes using the cream. I dyed it into different colors using food color, and I've already decorated one. And I ha we have some sprinkles to decorate on the cupcake after we put the icing. And we have different colors of the thing, and we have some sugar syrup to put on the cake and then decorate it using the icing. Now to make the cake more moist, I'm going to apply sugar syrup. Now that the cake is moist, I'm going to add cream on it. I'm going to repeat the same for the next two layers and I'll show you the end result. As you can see, the cake me and my brother made together is ready. And the birth this is the birthday boy. And my mother helped me with the cupcakes. This one I made on my own. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.